Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I kind of wanted to talk about two things wrapped up in one. Um, the idea of femininity and how much we place on the outer sort of expression of our femininity. Um, and then I also wanted to talk about hair and the sort of spiritual significance of like cutting off hair um, and like just hair in general. So, okay. Um, part of the reason why is because you can probably tell, but don't I look like I did something different, right? <laughs> I completely just got home today and it's been inter interesting. I've been having an interesting week and going back to school, my bagel just got them toasting, but going back to school this week and um, just being confronted with, I feel like a lot of resistance for myself and like just sort of dragging my feet. And maybe I still am a little bit. I've been really, really trying to be optimistic, but it's a start of winter quarter, it's rainy, and it's just a lot, a lot of like new energy adapting to stuff. And then I started to get this idea in my head, maybe like honestly for a while now, um, to cut my hair just a little bit. I kind of wanted to trim it up, get the ends sort of sorted out and kind of just have like a cut. Um, because, so if you don't know, um, when I got COVID, I got COVID ooh, in May of 2022, pretty bad. Um, and like, I was very, 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 very sick for at least a good two weeks. And so that happened or whatever. Um, and then I like, was like living my life, like everything was going fine. And then about the end of July, I started to lose massive amounts of hair. And so I was startled by that obviously and um it's never easy when you like see your sort of outward appearance changing and you don't want it to change and the reason why was because if you guys don't know like if you get covid there is a chance you will lose some hair or a lot of hair and so the thing is i didn't lose it from necessarily like just the lengths down what happens is your hair grows in cycles so your hair grows in like two to three month cycles, which is why even though I got it at the beginning of May, like end of April, I didn't really start seeing a lot of hair loss till the end of July. Um, but it was like massive and it would just fall out like from the roots. It was falling out from the root, which is why now you can see my hair is kind of like back to normal thickness at the top. It's still not super, super thin at the ends, but um, yeah, it had made my hair super, super thin. And I have like all my life had super, super, super thick curly hair. Um, that I felt really, really grateful for. And um, so when that idea and image of myself was starting to change, it was really, really, really frustrating. And um, I've been kind of battling that for a while now and maybe still a little bit. Um, but the thing is, is hair grows back. At least mine's been growing back like from the root and very healthy too. Um, so I'm seeing it, try to see it as like a purge, you know? That my body and like my spirit needed a purge but hair is very very spiritual and so to and it's also for me a big part of my like identity and how i see myself and also my gender identity and like my expression of femininity and i feel like for many girls it is and so we feel like we have to have like long thick luscious hair so i thought to myself i got back today I, I realize I'm ranting and talking at you like this is a, a lot of different things going on at once like start of the quarter whatever energy shift and I literally just like went into my bathroom I was like what if I cut my hair <laughs> because I had been thinking about it but I had been resisting it because I was like I'm not spending money in January which is true and then um I had just been re resisting it like no but I really want, want long hair and I do I do eventually want long hair like I would love my hair to like be like right above like sort of my boobies um by the end of this year that would be lovely maybe even sooner we'll see how fast my hair grows but i was holding on to the ends because again like oh i want my hair to be long but it wasn't like long it was like it was long but it wasn't like thick it wasn't like healthy hair and so i was still holding on to it and why like why because of my ideas of femininity because of you hold on to everything. Hair holds everything. Hair holds memories. So that's why when people get their hair cut, they say, oh, it feels like a, like a weight off my shoulders. Well, or when people like want to change their energy, they'll change their hair because hair holds memories, okay? Whether you want to admit it or not, this holds our memories. 
that's why some cultures choose to cover their hair um whether that is in like a hijab or um uh, like a yarmulke because they believe that hair is spiritual and like the crown of the head should be covered i don't particularly follow that necessary belief but my hair is pretty sacred to me and my cats are chasing each other around the house and so um it took a lot for me to cut this off but i i you know it's not it's a new look for me so i'm gonna still get, like, take some time to get adjusted but i think it's cute and um, I'm happy I did this to prove to myself and can I just show you like this was what I was holding on to and carrying around that's a lot of fucking hair like weight lifted off my shoulders like almost literally um, I would say my hair was probably about down to here but again it wasn't like healthy like it wasn't thick and I mean my hair is not still completely full healthy or thick um, it'll get there once my like regrowth starts really really growing in from COVID and everything but the point is hair is spiritual okay so if you are considering cutting your hair, you want to shift your energy, shift your vibe, hair is a great way to do that. And hair is, again, sacred. So, like, if you feel, if you're putting a lot of attachment onto your hair, that's normal. But know that once you release the attachment to it, like your human attachment to it, and you allow yourself to shift in whatever way you feel is necessary, that's where the spiritual part comes in and, and blessing can come in. Because when we're like resisting something, we're resisting something we're not flowing with the universe so again if you get the idea to cut your hair but you're not doing it maybe you're not really in your your you know flow you're resisting it i feel like okay i'm not saying every time you want to do something with your hair do it but like do you get what i'm saying I, i'm really rambling and um again i also think a lot of it for women girls uh, non-binary people who may be more feminine um anyone really honestly but like has ideas about femininity even men have ideas about femininity which are totally wrong the fact that you can't be feminine and gorgeous and have short hair it's dumb it's completely dumb so this is my little rant for today i know it's kind of all over the place not maybe a typical video i do but yes welcome from bob cameron bob cameron is saying hello to the world and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe it resonated with some of you i will see you guys in the next video bye